coming up on this episode of the Talking Mac Podcast. Guess what? We're discussing my final thoughts on the newest release from Apple for their operating system, Mac OS X Leopard. Stay tuned. You will not want to miss it. Welcome back to the Talking Mac Podcast. Hey, guess what? Before I get into my final thoughts on Mac OS 10.5 Leopard, let's dive into the Apple update. Hello, and welcome to the Apple update. Now, here's your Apple update. First, a company named FastMac plans to release a first Blu-ray drive option for newer Macs. Second, Apple came through with a new iPhone ad. Also, Apple released a web app directory for iPhone and iPod Touch. Plus, the Mac Mini might be dead. Apple began telling some of its channel partners not to expect any more shipments of this current Mac Mini configurations, period. Finally, Apple stock soared to $225. This has been your Apple update. All right, thanks for that Apple update. Welcome on back, everybody. Got a few things to talk about uh, in this edition. We're going to be talking about my final thoughts on Leopard. Now, Leopard, some people say, will come out next week. Now, next week, we'll begin a series of origins of parts of the Mac- Macintosh operating system. So, can't wait for that. So, tune in next week, TalkingMac.tk. Tune in every week, as a matter of fact. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be very exciting. So let's talk about first, let's talk about spaces and virtual desktop environments. Now I'm not going to dive into this, it's just my final thoughts. Spaces is really going to bring, it's going to revolutionize a, a lot of ways that we do things. Uh, with keeping our, t- our tasks organized, so, you know, you have a whole bunch of windows and windows, they're different tasks and they're, and they're clashing into each other, you know. So spaces is really going to revolutionize the way we do things. So just make sure you get ready. I know you, some of you may come from a, a Unix and Linux background and you, you, know, you know virtual desktops, you know all about that, but this is going to change the way that you do it. And also, let's talk about boot camp, you know, running Windows on the Mac and you can check episode, I think, number five windows on mac i think that's what that the episode was you can check that out for for doing that but boot camp's going to be built into leopard which is going to be super amazing which means you don't have to burn a disk you know a disk of drivers that you install on your windows side to uh to, it's, it's just already there so you just get your windows disk and you install boot camp hey so i i'm very very much looking forward for that looking forward to that um uh, when we return after this commercial break, guess what? We're going to be talking about more of the cool things and some stuff that you will need to go along with your new Leopard operating system. Stay tuned. You will not want to miss it. How are you supposed to use it? This is crazy. Apple should just give up on AT&T and just go right on home. Just go back to Cupertino. Go home. What was Microsoft thinking? Apple is going to give them a run for their money. They better hope Office takes off because Google Docs is coming on their territory. Get in on the action today. Listen to the Talking Mac podcast every week at www.talkingmac.tk. Hello, welcome back to the Talking Mac Podcast. We're just covering up my final thoughts on Leopard. Some things that you would need to get, you know, Time Machine is an excellent backup utility developed by Apple, you know, to include in their upcoming operating system, Leopard. Now, some people say it will be be released. I am so excited. I can barely sit in my seat right now. I love Talking Mac. 
uh, be released on October 26. Now, of course, this is the week of October. I don't know. You know, it's a week before the 26th. You know, I'm just my my brain right now is just totally clogged with Mac. I don't I don't I don't know what to do. But Time Machine, you will need an external backup hard drive. So you know, go ahead and go out there. And, and I saw a Circuit City app the other day. One I'm going to get. I saw a Seagate 250 gigabyte hard drive. Excellent price. It was only 80 bucks. So go out, pick you up one of those. You will definitely need it. Uh, front row. Now, how can I say? It it just looks amazing uh, with the new uh, if you I don't know if you haven't seen it I think thinksecret.com has um, has a look at the at the Apple developer build uh, leopard 9a559 yeah uh, 9a559 and 9a527 you can look at those for screenshots of how a leopard looks in those and people think that 9a581 leopard build will become the final gold master for uh, Mac OS 10 leopard so those are the things that, those are my final thoughts. I, I mean, I just can't wait to, I mean, come on. Windows has got to think. I mean, right now, I am just, I don't care what Windows come up with. Um, I don't I don't care. I think they have a new black, what is it? Black beard or black something operating system coming out in 2009. And you know what? If, they, if it's anything like, it's, like it is now, you know, people, Leopard, like a Leopard is going gonna, is gonna to take them, take, take them to it. Leopard's going to stab them in the back and and leave the knife in there so you know how it feels. That's what Leopard's going to do. It's going to suck every living ounce of blood out of Microsoft and leave them desolate. And they better hope Office takes off, which it is rapidly declining due to Google Docs and, you know, Apple's iWork suite is an amazing suite. Keynote knocks the dust off a of PowerPoint. It just cuts PowerPoint up. It slices them and feeds them to the pigeons. It cuts them up. Keynote is amazing. So this one is a pretty short episode. So those are my final thoughts on Leopard. I cannot wait. Uh, if you buy a new machine with Leopard, or if you have an old machine, some people saying it will not work on G4, uh, G4 867 megahertz G4 or backwards it will not work forwards it probably will work that probably work on g5s i know that and of course the new intel architecture it'll work on that so everybody get prepared it's coming i just want to let you know just just to keep you updated just to brief you uh you know what next week like i said we're gonna be doing origins of like the dock and the finder and a lot of cool things that make up the operating system so you can learn how to use it in leopard all right, we'll see you next time right here on the Talking Mac Podcast. Hey, join us every week, www.talkingmac.tk. We love Talking Mac. Bye-bye.